October 23rd, 2011. This is Edible Acres. Um, this is a, another installment of the project building the Cobb Cottage. Um, I did a video before that shows really an introduction to the space, but I think things have evolved enough where it's worth seeing what's going on here. Let me zoom out here and give some space. Anyway, it's a definitely work in progress still. You Right now we're looking at it from the southeast. This is looking north through the structure. You can see this is an urbanite uh, little mini stem wall. Very lean on materials, but it should work. Uh, it's basically graded down below the topsoil, set in with uh, crushed number two stone and some fine debris. Actually, let's look at it a little bit closer. And then infilled until it's nice and tight. So this is the base of the wall for this structure. It goes all the way around. Uh, and this was pulled out of a dump about nine miles north of here uh, in Ovid, New York. And then onto it, you can see this is the west end where I'm starting some trials with actual cob. Uh, so the cob is going to start out very, very wide and then have embedded in it, this was as of the other day, a dis uh, distinction to embed straw bales in here up to about waist height. Then there'll be windows and things like that. There'll be cob on the outside, cob on the inside of the structure, so it'll all look like cob, it'll have more insulated value down low. Uh, but you can see the cob coming along. It's got some sawdust on it because I just ran my chainsaw to top off one of the posts. But it's coming really well. Uh, tons of straw in there. I'm using just my subsoil, which you can look it up online. It's called Angola Silt Loam. If you were to Google that, you'd know exactly what my soil is like. It's definitely silt, but it has enough clay that it seems like, for now at least, it's cobbing together beautifully. Um, and I've got a huge pile of it over here to work with. There's my straw. You can see it's my really high-tech cobbing area. It's an old billboard that I use to mix with. I'll do another video of that. You can see a hose here. This runs all the way back over past my dad there to my summer cottage that has rain catchment and there's a hose that delivers water all the way to here. So I think I still have it open. When I'm mixing, it's not like it's coming out of a uh, domestic water supply, but I have running water there so I can mix my cob. I can mix it with the silt that's there that I dug out from the foundation area itself with some straw and slap it into position. It's actually working out really nicely. Put this into the off position, just a few inches higher than the water catchment. Um, anyway, you can see this, the floor is coming along. There's a hundred feet of PEX tubing that's in a circuit through here that comes out. That'll be attached to the wood stove, which will be right around here on the north wall. Uh, it'll be attached to a water jacket that's there, and I gotta figure out some thermosiphoning loops to heat the stones under here uh, with hot water from the stove. And this will be where um, another knee wall will be. This will all be windows, and then this whole thing is going to be a greenhouse out to here. Which I'm very excited to show that. So yeah, a couple hundred square feet in total, still targeting to make this structure for less than probably $700, $600, somewhere in there. And I'll provide some more updates as we go along. Today it's setting stones and getting all the posts topped so I can start getting my roof figured out, which I hope, hopefully will do before the next major rain. Thanks for watching.